The South Korean border at Paju, usually the site for hundreds of people to make daily journeys to and from the joint industrial park at Kaesong, is for now a one-way street. Heading south, just a handful of South Korean workers on a day that 446 were scheduled to make this trip. Other people couldn't return because they were supposed to leave by trucks, which were scheduled to enter the north carrying supplies. However, those trucks couldn't get into North Korea, so the others couldn't get out. Kaesong is home to more than 100 South Korean factories employing more than 50,000 North Korean workers. It earns North Korea about $90 million a year in their wages. Border crossings have been suspended before at times of tension, but this closure follows by just a few days a North Korean threat to shut down the project altogether. The continued operation of Kaesong is seen as a bellwether by which to judge North Korea's real intentions behind all the rhetoric. Wednesday's border closure isn't unprecedented and isn't in itself a precursor to a full shutdown. That would be the most serious development in relations for many years. After weeks of threats and Tuesday's announcement that North Korea would restart its shuttered plutonium-producing reactor at Yongbyon, relations are bad enough as it is. North Korea's measure to ban South Koreans from entering Kaesong Industrial Zone is causing a serious trouble in Kaesong's operation. To expedite the investment on North Korea, which the North itself hopes for, there has to be a mutual trust between South Korea, North Korea and the international community. And the situation has to be predictable. U.S. military deployments, most recently of F-22 stealth fighters, are both a sign of the seriousness with which Washington views the situation and fuel for further North Korean reaction. In the present situation, China believes all sides must remain calm and exercise restraint and not take actions which are mutually provocative and must certainly not take actions which will worsen the situation. Closing the border moves beyond recent rhetoric with consequences for southern companies that for now are unable to get supplies to their factories. It's also prompted South Korea's defense minister to say that the military has contingency plans to protect its nationals at the plant and is ready to take action. That would be a last resort. The hope is instead that North Korea will, as it has before, reopen the border once it feels it's made its point. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.